Sometimes we have an equation in slope-intercept form that we got by some method other than looking at a table which reveals the rate of change and starting value. Maybe we're just given an equation of this kind. For example, suppose a teacher conducts a survey of students' study habits and finds the following relationship between hours studied and final exam score. We're given the equation f equals 3.4s plus 51.3. The number of hours studied is our independent variable. The final exam scores, or the expected final exam scores then, are our dependent variable. Notice this is in slope-intercept form. Right, it's in the form dependent variable equals m times independent plus b. So m is 3.4 and b is 51.3. How do we interpret this? We interpret the intercept as a starting value. So in this context, that means a student who studies zero hours, right, that's the starting value when the independent variable is zero. A student who studies zero hours has an expected final exam grade of 51.3 points. The slope is the rate of change. So for each hour studied, for each increase by one of our independent variable, the expected final exam grade increases by 3.4 points. Every time s goes up by one, f goes up by the slope. We interpret the slope as the rate of change, 3.4 points per hour studied in this case. We could also phrase this as, the expected final exam score increases by 3.4 points per hour studied. Here's another example. Suppose a manufacturer estimates that their cost for producing W widgets is given by the equation C equals 0 0.037 W plus 31,077, where C is the cost in dollars and W is the number of widgets produced. And the number of widgets is independent. The cost is dependent. Why is the number of widgets independent? Well, if I decide I want to produce 10,000 widgets, I turn on the widget machine and keep running it till there are 10,000 widgets in the widget bin. If I decide I want to spend $70,000, that's harder to figure out. I have to do some math for that. So W is independent because it's easier to choose the value of W. How do we interpret the numbers in this equation? So the intercept is the starting value. It's the value of C when W is zero. So it sounds like their costs are $31,077, even if they don't produce any widgets. We usually refer to these as flat costs or upfront costs. Right? They're things you have to pay for even if you aren't getting anything done. And then the slope is the rate of change. So every time we produce one more widget, our cost increases by $0.037. That's the cost per widget. Um, it might be nicer to give that in cents. That might be a little bit easier to read than $0.037. The slope is the rate of change. It's the cost per widget. The intercept is the starting value. It's the cost that they have even if they don't produce any widgets at all.